Adding a stone veneer siding to wood sheathed exterior wall is a great way to add an elegant look to your home. This project can be done inside or outside of your house, but this video will focus on the step-by-step -step process of putting a stone veneer wall on your home's exterior. The first thing we'll do is prepare the surface. Mark the stud locations on the wall sheathing to make it easier to install the metal lath. Next, secure water-resistant barrier using two layers of house wrap or grade D felt. Apply the layers shingle style with horizontal overlaps of at least two inches and six inch overlaps on vertical seams. Make sure the water resistant barrier is installed smooth to allow the subsequent metal lath to be installed tightly. Next, secure the corrosion resistant galvanized metal lath. Attach it horizontally using galvanized roofing nails. Make sure to penetrate through the sheathing into the studs at least one inch. Hit each stud every six inches on center vertically. Make sure the metal lath is tight to the wall with no bumps. With the metal lath firmly attached, you are now ready to apply the mortar scratch coat. Prepare the stone mortar mix according to instructions on the bag. Add water gradually until you reach a mix consistent with a thick pancake mix. It should be sufficiently thick to hold to your pool trowel without instantly sliding off. The stone mortar mix should be applied with sufficient pressure and thickness to fully embed the metal lath with mortar, resulting in a stone mortar lath thickness of a half inch to three quarter inch. Once the stone mortar mix is thumper and hard, scratch the surface horizontally with a masonry stiff brush to create a mortar scratch coat. The rough texture helps ensure a good bond with the stone. With the scratch coat setting, lay out the stone arrangement. It's recommended to lay out a minimum of 25 square feet at your job site so you have a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors to choose from. Next, apply the stone veneer. Using the same stone mortar mix that you used for the scratch coat, butter the entire back of the stone with a nominal half inch of mortar. Next, pin the stone to the wall, wiggling it with a back and forth motion to achieve a full bond. Push with enough pressure to get stone mortar mix to squeeze out on all sides, ensuring a full setting bed that covers the scratch completely. With the proper stone mortar mix, moisture content and scratch coat, you should feel the mortar start to grab the stone within a few seconds of the setting process. Once set, no further movement of the stone should be made because any movement of the stone hereafter may break that mortar bond. The stone design calls for a horizontal look, so use a level to mark the scratch coat to help guide your work and ensure the installed stone holds a level orientation. Should we want to adjust the stone's position or have inadvertently moved it, you need to remove it completely, scrape the mortar off, and begin again with the buttering of the back of the stone. If you're in a warm, dry environment, you may need to spritz both the wall and stone with a small amount of water. This will help ensure proper hydration during curing and secure a good bond with the stone. The scratch coat should be dampened, but not drenched. After approximately 30 minutes, apply the stone mortar mix between the stones. Make sure that the installed stone does not move with mild contact. If it does, the stone will need to be reapplied. To grout the joint, fill a grout bag with a stone mortar mix, ensuring that reasonable hand pressure will release the mortar from the tip. Then insert the grout bag tip fully in between the joint. Fill the joint to the desired level and ensure that the mortar is forced into any and all voids. After the stone mortar mix has cured to the point that is thumbprint hard, you need to strike the joint. Use a tuck point trowel or the handle of a paintbrush to force and compact the stone mortar mix down into all cavities and voids in the joint. Use sufficient pressure to completely fill all spaces of the joint to create a seal around the stone. Scrape away any excess. Brushing is the final touch for the mortar joints. This should be done soon after striking the joints, but before the joint mortar is fully set. 
Clean around the edges of the stone with the wooden part of the brush. Then with the brush end, brush the joint until it's smooth and clean away any loose mortar with a brush or a dry cloth. Do not use water or wet gloves as this may smear the mortar, resulting in a haze on the stone. Once the stone mortar mix is dry, we can apply 100% acrylic seal best concrete sealer to the stones. This product is a professional grade, breathable concrete sealer that dries to a clear matte finish. Avoid ultra gloss sealers which can trap moisture in the stone and cause damage. First, sweep off all loose dirt and debris from the surface. Then, rinse off the stones with water and allow it to dry thoroughly. Stir the concrete sealer thoroughly and apply a thin, even coat with a brush. It's that easy! Enjoy the new look that Stone Veneer adds to the outside of your home. And for more tips and projects, visit Menards.com.